In Nigeria today, about 37 million women and girls experience period poverty, which means they are unable to access or afford menstrual products like pads, tampons, underwear and medication, leading to poor menstrual hygiene, which not only poses physical health risks for them, but can also negatively impact their education, emotional well-being, comfort and their economic life. In a bid to address the lingering concern, the Defense and Police Officers' Wives Association, DIPOA, organized a one-day menstrual health sensitization campaign and reusable pad-making training for junior secondary school girls in the Day Day community in Nigeria's federal capital territory, Abuja. We have the details. Across the world, millions of women and girls experience menstrual or period poverty, which is characterized by limited access to period products, menstrual education, adequate water supply, hygiene, and sanitation facilities. According to a 2018 World Bank report, at least 500 million women worldwide lack adequate access to menstrual hygiene products. It is a similar tale in Nigeria where over 37 million women and girls of reproductive age lack access to menstrual hygiene products due to the rising inflation and growing poverty in the country. Research has also revealed that 1 in 10 girls miss school for about 48 days in a year because of lack of information and access to safe sanitary products and clean water, as well as cultural and religious reasons like shame, stigma and misinformation surrounding menstruation, which are contributing factors to serious human rights concerns for women and girls. This makes them vulnerable to gender discrimination, child marriage, exclusion, violence, poverty, and untreated health problems. In a bid to address these challenges and rewrite the ugly narrative, the Defense and Police Officers' Wives Association, DIPOA, took the campaign against period poverty to schools in the federal capital territory, Abuja. You know, even sometimes, the period might not come the day you are expecting. But if you are listening to your pain attention to the way you feel, you, can, you know you can know when blood is dropping out? Do you know you can know? Yes. So you have to start taking yourself more careful, listening to what your body is saying to you. In her remarks, President of the Association, Ogoko Musa, said the event, which was organized to commemorate the International Day of the Girl Child 2024, is aimed at creating awareness and providing a platform where young girls can thrive and contribute meaningfully to national development. As part of the POA's commitment towards empowering girls to end period poverty in public schools in the federal capital territory, we are here today for the menstrual health and hygiene management and reusable pad making tr training for all our lovely school girls here today. This is in line with my vision, which is to seal women and girls become productive contributors to family and society, driven by a deep sense of values and hardworking spirit. Therefore, I will urge you to be committed and avail yourself to learn. In their remarks, principal and head girl of the school, while appreciating Dipoa for the gesture, called for increased support from government in upholding the rights of women and girls in the country. This program has really empowered me. I learned how to take care of myself during menstruation. I learned how to calculate my menstrual cycle. I learned how to track my menstrual cycle. And I learned how to make pad with materials. The government um, needs to do, they have to be more proactive in uh, dealing with female child in particular. The fact that they are our, our future mothers, the government needs to give them special attention. And uh, if there is possibility, most of, most of, majority of them, their parents are very poor, they cannot afford ordinary part like this for them. If the government can always supply such a thing to school so that anybody that is in the position of wanting, the principal can always supply. We already have guidance and counselors who are in charge of this kind of uh, issues. 
High points of the event was practical training sessions, the distribution of sanitary pads to women and girls, as well as the presentation of sewing machines to empower young girls in the school to become agents of social change. Happy